Good morning, second grade. Ms. Fogelman here for your reading lesson. Let me start by sharing my screen. And then we will get started. Okay. So uh, today is November 4th and our um, learning target is I can understand how to use context clues to find the meaning of an unknown word. We sometimes will get to a word that is too hard to sound out. We can use context clues to figure out the meaning of the word. So context clues are other words in the sentence or other sentences around the word that help us figure out what the word is and its meaning. Let's start by listening to Context Clues at Grammar Songs by Melissa. What are context clues? More importantly, how can understanding context clues make me a better reader? Let's get started. Context clues are hints a reader can use to discover the meanings of unfamiliar words and phrases. Did someone say discover? Yes, Detective Waddle. When we read, we have to look for clues to discover the meanings of words we don't know. Let me show you. When we read, sometimes we will come upon an unfamiliar word that we don't know and have trouble sounding out. We could choose to stop reading and find a dictionary, but this can take away from our comprehension or understanding of the story by interrupting the flow. Now, what was happening? This is why using context clues is so important. I know what clues are, but what is this thing you call context? Context is like the setting of a word. You can probably guess what is missing from this picture based on the setting or context around the missing object. Sure, a dog. Using context clues is similar. Con is a prefix meaning with. Text means written words. As a reader, you are looking for clues within the written words to help you understand unfamiliar words or phrases. How will I know where to find them? A word's context includes the words and sentences around it. This is where you can find clues to the meanings of a word that you don't know. What clues do you see? Well, we know Katie was something, so we need to read the rest of the sentence to figure this out when her little sister kept messing up her room. So what could Katie be if her little sister is messing up her room? Hmm, mad, frustrated? No, this word starts with an A. Angry, hmm, aggravated. Katie was aggravated when her little sister kept messing up her room. Aggravated makes sense when you consider the context. Exactly. Authors use different types of context clues. They might use examples, synonyms, antonyms, or even definitions. For instance, the restaurant's ambiance, including its quiet music, flowers, and candlelight, made it a perfect place for Valentine's Day. If you don't know what ambiance is, the examples, quiet music, flowers, and candlelight, let you know that ambiance is the special atmosphere or mood of a particular environment. Sometimes authors use synonyms or words that mean almost the same thing. The child's ability to perform gymnastics was apparent or obvious at an early age. If you are unfamiliar with the word apparent, the synonym clue obvious makes the sentence easy to understand. Sometimes authors will use antonyms to help the reader grasp an unfamiliar word by stating the opposite. Carla was meticulous with her assignments, unlike her brother Ralph, who scribbled all over the page. If you don't know what meticulous means, the antonym phrase scribbled all over would let you know that Carla was neat and careful with her assignments, unlike her brother Ralph. Sometimes authors actually provide definitions within the text if using a less common word. Abby was repulsed by the spider crawling up her arm. She had a feeling of disgust and dislike. If you are unfamiliar with the word repulsed, the author clearly defines it as a feeling of disgust and dislike. I can find context clues in the words. Exactly. Remember, 
Context clues can be examples, synonyms, antonyms, or definitions. Let's read a paragraph and look for the context clues a reader might find if he or she was unfamiliar with the underlined words. It was time for the band to march on the field. The crowd was ecstatic. Ecstatic? I don't know what that means. Well, this would be a good time to look for context clues. Remember, if you can't find a clue in the sentence you just read, you should keep reading. A word's context includes the words and sentences around it. Let's start again at the beginning so we can gather all the context surrounding the word ecstatic. It was time for the band to march on the field. The crowd was ecstatic. People screamed and cheered, showing their excitement. I see some clues. That's great. What do you see? People screamed and cheered and showed excitement. Very good. Screamed and cheered would be examples of people who are ecstatic. People who are ecstatic are excited. Let's keep reading. The music intensified or increased in volume. What does intensified mean? Well, let's look for some context clues. I think I see one. Increased. Very good. Increased is a synonym for intensified. Let's keep reading. Unlike her timid friends, Morgan was unafraid to perform in front of the roaring crowd. What is timid? What context clues can we find? Hmm. Unlike means opposite. Morgan was unafraid. So, if Morgan's friends are the opposite of Morgan, then her friends are afraid. Yes, timid means afraid or shy. The author used an antonym as a clue to help us. Let's continue. After the show, the crowd gave a standing ovation. Ovation? There aren't many clues in this sentence, except we know there is standing going on. Maybe we should keep reading. Great idea. The fans stood and clapped to show their appreciation for such a great performance. Wow, the author uses a definition as a clue to help the readers understand what is happening. An ovation is when the whole crowd stands, claps, and cheers. That was a great context clue. Yes, it was. So remember, context clues are hints a reader can use to discover the meanings of unfamiliar words and phrases. And authors use different types of context clues, including examples, synonyms, antonyms, and even definitions. I can find clues in the words. Yes, you can. Congratulations, Detective Waddle. You are a first place detective of context clues. Thank you for joining me at Grammar Songs by Melissa. Okay, Enjoy so other that related gives you a little bit of a start on what context clues are. So let's continue our slideshow. Okay, so let's practice. I am amazed that my brother read 600 books this year. What does the word amazed mean? What words in this sentence can give me clues? Okay, so here's the word amazed. And we're not really sure what that means. I am amazed that my brother read 600 books this year. All right, well, reading 600 books in a year, that's a pretty, hmm, that's hard to do, 600 books in a year. So could amazed be impressed or um, you think that your brother, you're just um, totally impressed with how he has read that many books in a year because that is such a great um, thing to have done. And not everybody can read 600 books in a year. So to be amazed means to be impressed, to be surprised, um, to be happy for them. Okay. Jojo Siwa is a famous singer and dancer. What does the word famous mean? All right, so she is a famous singer and dancer. 
Well, she's a singer and she's a dancer, which means that people may know who she is because they may have seen her sing. They may have seen her dance. So if they know who she is, maybe that's what famous means. It means that many people know her and like her singing and dancing. So <clears throat> famous means well-known, okay? I heard a loud boom, so I went to investigate by looking all around my house. This one, is one that we can find the actual definition of investigate in this sentence. I heard a loud boom, so I went to investigate by looking all around my house. Looking all around my house. That's what investigate means, to look all around to figure out where this loud boom came from. from. So we use the definition in the sentence to help us. Now in Shobi, you will find um, a check for understanding, which you need to now do. So your job is to read the sentence and figure out what the word, um, what the word means. What does the word mean? How did you know? So you're going to say what it means, and then you're going to tell what words in the sentence helped you to better understand what the word means. And you're going to do the same thing with the one down here. We sometimes will get to a word that is too hard to sound out. We can use context clues to figure out the meaning of the word. And remember, when you're finding out the meanings of the words, you can use antonyms, which are words that mean the opposite, synonyms, which are words that mean the same thing. You can also use a definition that might be in the sentence or examples, okay? So in this sentence, it gave the example of reading 600 books a, a year. That's amazing or surprising. Here, it gave an example of why she is famous. She's a singer and a dancer. So famous means well-known. Um, this one gave a definition, investigate, looking all around my house, okay? So you're going to try to use these types of strategies to help you figure out your check for understanding. Make sure you go into Shobi and look for it and get that work done. Okay, and that's all I have for you today. Uh, make sure you're working on that work and I will see you soon.